So guys, the war is on. Again, Raccoon Wars 2019. I'm thinking about practicing with a cat. Tomcat, you want to be a uh, guinea pig? Um, Raccoon War 2019. I got a uh, double animal trap. It's got the squirrel trap and raccoon trap in one. And a raccoon has fully moved into our trailer. He has taken up residence and he's making himself comfortable. And I tell you what, if anything can get a... <laughs> if he fits in there, it definitely is the size of a good big raccoon with a big cat. So anyway, uh, we got to get him out. This is bad, really bad. He's in there and he is making himself comfortable and uh, they can be dangerous. You don't know if they have disease, rabies, whatever. So I'm not going to go hunting them myself. And we'll see what we can do. I'm going to put that in there with some cat food and see if we can catch a raccoon and get him out of our home. Okay, we have our test raccoon. Tomcat. About the right size and shape and color. Hey Tomcat. Does it work? <laughs> oh, you dig this funny? Yeah, that's a test raccoon. Thing about cats, you give them a box, they go right in happily. Anyway, it works. So, we're going to put some cat food in it and get it out there and catch us a real raccoon. And not just a uh, test raccoon. It's beautiful today. I just got home from work. And uh, I shoveled our pathways out. There was a little bit of snow here and there. Um, it's melting. You can see it's wet. So today is a little bit melting. I shoveled all the way out to my my uh, electronic shop. Uh, the wood shop is sort of abandoned for the winter because the snow falls off the roof right in front of the door. Um, not really good setup there, the way that happens. Um, so it's really barricaded, but it's melting a lot. The snow is diminishing a lot. Where the sun shines, well, those logs right there were almost completely under snow, and they're starting to show up a bit better. And those are what standard um, fireplace logs, so 16, 18 inches, and they're uh, starting to show their faces. Now here, under the trees, it's never that much, but. Wish I had been home today for the solar. Wow, look at that. It's over. It's uh, 6 o'clock, I think. And the day is coming to a close. But as I said, I'm going to start getting home earlier and earlier. Um, no, not <laughs> the sun is still going to be uh, up when I get home. <laughs> My time is the same, but the sun will still be up. And I'll start being able to do some more videos now and then. And this would have been a great mining day. Great cryptocurrency mining day. So I might have to set up some kind of an automated system to, a remote system to fire them up. Let me give that some thought. Raccoon Wars update. Nothing, 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 nothing in three days. I started the video update three days ago and I put a can of cat food in here and set it up and he hasn't been anywhere near it. Oddly, um, very oddly, see he's been here stirring it up and digging but he hasn't gone anywhere near the trap. And I would have thought for sure that cat food would have enticed him in, and it didn't. So, and we made sure there's nothing else out here, so he must be into something in the house. I've gotta go and figure out what's going on. This isn't good, not good at all. If he's not interested in a can of cat food, then he's got something going on in there. And that can only be bad business for us. It's not a raccoon. Not at all. And he's cozy in there. He's not afraid of me either. Not at all. He's just right in there. He's not going anywhere at all. He's not afraid of me at all. I have to figure out what to do about that. That's why I probably didn't take the cat food. Oh boy. We have a problem. 
We have a problem. I think that's a possum. Long nose. That's what's in our house. That's underneath my bathtub. Not good at all. Not good at all. Okay, well then. I've got to do something about this. He's wet. Something on his face. I sure is not in any hurry to get out of there, though. Not at all. Okay, well, I need to figure something out. How do you get a possum out that's firmly nested inside your bathroom? Very, very, very deeply. He's pulled up all the insulation and got a very, very cozy nest. He's also got some kind of a weird gunk coming out of his ear, so he's not very healthy. Not good at all. Okay, guys, I have to figure something out. I think he's got an infection in his head. His ear is leaking. Yucky. Okay, I'm going to close this up and figure what I'm going to do next. I thought it was a raccoon. I know how to take care of a raccoon. A possum? I don't know. 